Evet iki yıl. Evet iki yıl. Evet iki If uh, of our um, off-grid sequence of this trip, probably the last one, and uh, welcome to a new video. Uh, thank you for watching the previous one. We are at uh, one uh, very nice spot in the southwest uh, part of um, uh, Norway. This is a beautiful, beautiful spot with lots of fish. You can do fi trout fishing here. The only thing is that it's popular for um, small vans, and uh, during the night it's like a public toilet. Yeah. All of these vans that you can see behind me, if you can see, were going here to take their <clears throat> poopooing and peeping. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I think I'm gonna write on Park for night that uh, this is that kind of a place. So that's the downside, but it's beautiful. I caught a fish here. Um, we made a grill here and uh, we played uh, in the sand. They swam a little bit. It's very very pretty. The thing is that now we are going toward the nearest city to try to find and refill our uh, gas cylinder and then uh, buy some extra fresh things from the market. We find a playground for Mark to play because five days he's without a playground and then um, continue and find some other place to sleep. We have eight more days in Norway because we just recently purchased the ticket, uh, ferry ticket to Denmark. It was 230 euros for the caravan and the car and us, of course. It's two hours uh, drive, uh, cruise, which is perfect. And um, so, yeah, that's the newest uh, update of our trip. So, yeah, let's uh, pack up now and uh, try to find gas in there.
so yeah you need to come inside to fill up and that outside is uh, only for those type of uh, gas cylinders that I don't have I have the one the German so yeah you need to come inside give it to the employee and he charges it for you pretty convenient let's see how much it's gonna cost so uh, roughly like 36 euros this costs it so guys if you're traveling from uh, non Scandinavian country keep in mind that uh, the one cylinder that has the German outlet or inlet or valve or whatever it's called cannot be exchanged 90% in the places that they do exchanging of cylinders because they have a different ones they have the standard for Scandinavia and then this one that is similar to the German but different valve so um, yeah you need to keep in keep that in mind when you're traveling in Scandinavia and using the gas now let's find a um, cassette cleaner here in this town cleaned up the toilets but we couldn't put uh, water because the, the tap for the um, uh, cleaning of the cassette was very close to the tap for water and there is no sign so you don't know which one is which so yeah I didn't feel comfortable filling our tank with it and plus in park for night it said that uh, some Norwegian camper told a German camper that actually that water is not for drinking uh, so yeah so what we're gonna do is now go to this big shopping mall try to find some Lego for Mark and get some fresh ingredients and maybe fill up some little bottles of water that we're gonna use in the campsite <laughs> Mark <laughs> $50 not too bad but I will see how it's gonna last hopefully it's gonna last till the end of our days here in Norway now uh, I have to find a place for camping Taka Mark Taka. let's go We found a good spot, um, hopefully no one will bother us here. I think that we are fine because we are away from um, residential areas and there is no prohibition sign, so I think it's fine. Now it's time to prepare the caravan so Maki can go to sleep, sort out uh, the gas and then, because I have the beautiful lake behind me, try to fish, because I really, really like fresh fish for lunch. But um, not always I have luck to catch one. Maybe I don't have a good uh, good baits because I have still big uh, big hook and something smaller. But anyways, this place is very nice. It's very clean. I don't think many campers are staying uh, at this spot. But anyway, we left some space for another one if he wants to join. I can see that there is marks, so somebody else was camping here. But um, so yeah, there is enough space for everybody else, and uh, they are welcome. If are not of those who pee pee to very close to you, I prefer those ones who go far away so yeah uh, let's set up the camp now let's say a few words about fishing in Norway first of all on the sea you can fish wherever you want without a problem actually only um, cannot fish very close to a salmon farm actually 100 meters from a salmon farm that's the only restriction but for lakes you and rivers you need to go to www.inatur.com from where you purchase your daily or weekly or seasonal ticket uh, for fishing they, they have different prices from 5 10 50 euros etc uh, but some lakes they are not on Inatur so I was asking around and I found a Norwegian fisherman he said that uh, most of those lakes are privately owned like uh, some are partially some are with a concession and um, that you can fish and if the person comes and tells you off you just say I didn't know and you go away but uh, it's, it rarely happens but still you need to have like a, not to be out in the open so everybody can see you not to provoke the locals that you are fishing there not to be like you own the lake so as long as you are secluded and hiding a little bit <laughs> you don't have problem fishing and um, so yeah uh, but 
none of the Norwegian fishermen that I saw are buying tickets. So they said, yeah, nobody's checking them. So I didn't feel good, so I did purchase tickets from Inlatur, but yeah, you can go on your own risk and avoid uh, the, to pay. But the good thing is to pay because it helps. <coughs> uh, it helps in protection of these places and maintaining the areas. That's what I think. Anyway, let's see if we can get some trout. Prvinje preme, ti bači ga opraviš? Na bači treba da ima zeleni posle... Kakva kapa je mu staj? Džor. Kakva? Džor. Zelena? Da. Zolt na mađarski? Da. It's already 5 p.m. and this is my first time of the day going out. You remember this place from yesterday, how sunny it was and nice. Look at it now. The maximum visibility is like 50 meters towards the lake. Unbelievable. I didn't go out. Mama was outside cleaning the caravan all day. That was her um, fun in the rain. With Mark we were watching uh, Avengers and playing Legos and reading a book. Nothing like the weather killed us literally. Like what? Tell me, what you can do in this kind of weather? Now it's just not raining. Previously it was raining. What idea? If you are with kids and you're caravanning, camping, what you gonna do? Okay, now we are out because it's not raining. You're gonna fish, hide from the rain. I don't know. What is the fun? You cannot hike because everything is so slippery here. No, it, it, it killed us, and I'm. Um, I hate to say this, but I'm kind of looking forward for the day that we are leaving, leaving Norway. I'm, I'm like fed up, like literally fed up with this weather and I cannot wait to go to Denmark. Maybe it's going to be warmer weather, but hopefully here is going to get better in the next day so we can actually do something because like this, it's bollocks and it's in the next five days like this. I don't know. I, I'm done with complaining about weather. I should enjoy not being at work and being somewhere out in the nature, but still I'm stuck in the caravan not doing it Yeah Doesn't matter. So um, We have some new updates coming up New news, but we're gonna wait uh, until we are in Germany in Denmark to share them with you And they actually gonna be in the new video. So uh, this video is just to finalize our Norway trip and just please give us some Sun for the last days, please, 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 please. Hello. No changes in the blue sky, into blue sky, so still on the same uh, 
temp uh, temperature weather. I mean, actually, the temperature is a bit warmer, but when the wind starts blowing, it's cold as ice. It's day seven, I think, of this sequence, and um, just the first days were nice. The other ones were blah, not very. So we're gonna spend tonight off grid, and then um, find a campsite curse there hopefully for a better weather because uh, the forecast says on east at there is a better weather so we're gonna go towards east towards Christiansen where we're gonna get the ferry on the 9th uh, so yeah good morning sorry for my burnt uh, that I'm burnt out and I'm not excited but really I I am not excited about anything right now so thanks for um, sticking up with with us and uh, our camping adventure. Let's find something else to do now, today. So I found a place where I can fill up water and it's good. It's clean and it, it's with a hose. So I can um, just pop the hose in and it um, fills up. But the thing is that the, the water pressure is very, very, very low. So it's gonna take some time to fill up and then fill up the bottles. But what else we have to do in this horrible, horrible weather? Besides filling water. So a few meters from our caravan, actually from the parking, starts a small trail that leads to a lake um, that actually I read on park for night that they mentioned in a review that there is a nice uh, trail leads to a lake which is very very pretty. And um, now, now it's not raining, still we have the rain equipment on us, but uh, we're gonna go and uh, try to see that, that lake. And uh, I don't know if you can see but yeah that's our caravan over there yeah so we are very close even if it starts raining we are close to go to run at home uh just doesn't matter if it's cloudy just no rain please no rain and the thing is that there is no fishing here i would have liked to fish down there there is a lake for fishing so maybe later i will descend there and uh try to catch some trout but that remains to be seen i'm a little bit tired of fishing i want to rest a bit from that I just want to be outside and hike and be active because you cannot be so much active in the rain because it's uh yeah you know why we saw a moose or elk whatever you prefer to call them finally after two months three months in Scandinavia we saw them it was big with antlers yeah someone is very excited <laughs> that was hoping for so cool it's this is how we go with Mark. Kova! <laughs> oh, <laughs> 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 Good morning from Norway. Four more days. You see that thing up there? That's supposed to be the sun. It's working hard. It's working hard to penetrate to the clouds. But no luck. Only one sun ray I felt earlier when I was cutting my hair. And um, so uh, we had a very, very nice sleep. This road is very, very quiet, this area. And um, I highly recommend this. And it wasn't even on park, or was it? That doesn't matter. It, there are no campers passing by here so it's only us and uh, this morning we're gonna go and uh, gather some uh, blueberries because we ran out of them we ate them all so yeah this area is highly recommended even though I didn't expect it. it's gonna be like this I was expecting super crowded but this and small area uh, roads are perfect for uh, wild camping because there are no people nothing extraordinary mountains but still beautiful wilderness and forest so um, yeah good morning and uh, let's find some blueberries.
Hvad er det? Afrunde. Last night before the campsite we found a nice spot, that's it, it's on a lake, it's on a street, but this street is even quieter than the one from yesterday, so no car is passing, so we're definitely gonna stay here, it's much quiet, there are those um, big uh, horse flies here that are biting, and this lake looks so clean, that if it continues to be like this warm and sunny, sunny-ish, we're gonna definitely jump into the water, so um, and now we're gonna make a little circle and check around what it, there is and um, yeah, have some lunch and um, explore the area. And we are off exploring with Marky. We're trying to find a nice access into the lake that is suitable for him and for me also. But, uh, whoa, the path is very, very dense and I don't know how we're gonna do it. Do it. So definitely no access from here. I saw stairs leading into the lake, but yeah, definitely is not from here where I'm walking. Maybe it is, but uh, the path is really overgrown with these uh, ferns and uh, I'm not very comfortable walking through them when I'm with Mark because I'm afraid of ticks, but I'm already walking naked, so it doesn't matter. Good morning from day nine of this part of the the off grid ca camping here in Norway, and uh, this is the last long leg that we're gonna do. Just because today we are going to a campsite very close by and very cheap. There are two campsites next to each other. One is 19, one is 15 euros. We're going to the one that is uh, 19 because they have a playground for him. And uh, today we are eating. This is called Lutenica. It's similar to Ivar and it's traditional uh, food from Macedonia. That's some, something that our elders were making and uh, not many youngsters are making it now because it requires lots of time and we are lazy. But uh, in this, this autumn, if I found somebody that is making it, I will film it so you can see how is the process going. And um, yeah, maybe you will find and buy something like this to try how nice it is. So um, I'm going to wrap this video here. Prepare the caravan now. Throw, cast the, the rod a few more times into the lake to see if you can catch some fish. And then go to uh, the campsite and uh, to make this video to prepare it for YouTube. And uh, after that, we're gonna um, plan our trip further down towards Denmark. Thank you for watching and uh, see you next time.